Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Coach BJ here. We're doing a video on torque analysis. Many of you are very familiar with power analysis. A lot of our um, platforms will show us peak power, power over time. We're very familiar with that. Um, torque is rotational force or um, the ability to turn something. So it's the rotational version of linear force. It's important for acceleration. You'll also find it clustered around your peak power, usually. Um, but for the most part, we're looking at it for a torque workout, so uphill drives, big gear efforts, um, seated drives, all that stuff where we need to accelerate. Torque is going to be one of our um, main analyzing factors. So we're going to look at how to, use, how to analyze that using Golden Cheetah and an Excel spreadsheet. I'm using Google Sheets just to make it easy to share. Um, the link for that sheet is going to be in the description below, so check that out. When you click it, it should say make a copy. Um, just click that. That way we're not all looking at the same sheet. You make your own copy, put your own data in there. Um, and if you have a question about this version of Golden Cheetah, it's a specialized version for Notio, N-O-T-I-O. Um, I'm going to put a link for that version in the description as well. It has the ability to do aerodynamic um, analysis if you have a device. Um, so don't worry about the CDA and the aerodynamic stuff. It's just a nice setup for mechanical efficiency and other things that are that we're going to use. And for the most part, it's going to be really easy to just edit into the spreadsheet that I have today. So if you have any questions at the end, just remember to pop them in the comments. I'll get to them. Hit like, hit subscribe so you get all the notifications for upcoming new content. All right. Okay, so we're looking at this spreadsheet here. A um, couple things to notice. I have my data stuff on the right. You'll see in light gray, I have some computation stuff going on. They're in light gray so that you don't focus on it because it's not important. Uh, it's important, it's not important for you to look at. It's just there because um, it was easier than making a very long algorithm in the back. Um, so instead of baking it all into one number and making it look pretty, it's easy to just say the peak Newton meters are blank and the 20% cutoff is blank. So um, let's start with the peak Newton meters. It just takes the max value of all of my Newton meters. Anything on this line, let's actually take those 22 out. Anything in this, anything inside this D column will be, it will take the max. So the max here is 186. Uh, and then 20% cutoff. 20% cutoff is generally what I deem to be the effective torque range. Uh, you'll see generally that 20% below the peak value is where it all starts to fall apart. The effort's over. You've already lost the ability to hold on to um, effective torque. You'll see this in power efforts as well when you're trying to hold a very high power you know, you're trying to really sustain it. There's that drop off that happens and at a certain point you're not in an effective power building range anymore. And that's usually, for torque at least, that's, that point of the curve is gonna be about 20%. So we see here that the 20% cutoff is 149. So that's why I did not include that 136 into our highlighted range. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Um, the highlighted range is just here for these purposes today. You don't need to highlight your ranges. Uh, seconds in torque, it's going to count anything that falls within this range. So between the peak and 20% below, it found that there were five seconds in there. You'll see that there are 11 data points here, and that's because this particular power meter measured in half second intervals. Um, so that's going to work out to five, five seconds. If these were one second intervals, th this would be a um, 11 seconds or 10 seconds in torque. And then we average all those numbers that fell within that range, everything above 149 and one, between 149 and 186, and the average was 178 Newton meters, average. Um, cool, so this is a nice little cleaned up version. Let's take a look at how to get the data in there. It's easier than it looks, in my opinion. So let's switch our view to Golden Cheetah here. Okay. Um, let's go to mechanical. Great. Entire activity. So let's take a look at this entire activity. We're looking at a bunch of 
clusters of efforts. So we have some clusters here. We've already done, the one that we cleaned up and looked at is this first effort right here out of one, two, three, four. So let's take a look at this second effort here. There's a bunch of unusable stuff here. These are a bunch of zeros and nothings. This right here is, this is a track athlete. So this is them getting onto the track or getting themselves situated uh, with the other people doing the efforts. Whatever this is, this is not important. Um, so what we can do is we can take this selection, select from the bottom to the bottom of this important bell curve, and we'll see that that gives us selection three. So we're looking down at selection three, and it'll just give us a zoomed in version of just what we want to see. Um, so just that data. If I go to edit, here we go. Because I've already selected that, oh, here we go. Uh, when I go to edit, it'll give me a selection of the data that I was looking at over here in mechanical. So I click on section three, double click, it'll give me this view of torque curve. And then I go to edit, just to make sure we're highlighted. It'll give me a selection of all the data. So I copy and let's move over, let's switch our view to Excel and let's go back to the Excel and I'm going to paste. It's important that I paste on the same line because all of these formulas are set up to pull the data from the top down and it has to start at that line. Um, let's hit paste. Cool. And this is that cleaned up version. There's not a lot of extraneous data. So we have one zero in there. We got a couple zeros here. We could delete these zeros out, but it honestly doesn't matter because we've already set up our formula to pull the peak, which is 185.7. There we go. You don't need to highlight it, but I'm going to just for now. Um, you'll notice that's a little bit below last time, but very similar. Um, a cutoff of 149, oh, 148, sorry, where it was 149 before. So 148, anything under 148 is not usable. We'll see here that we drop precipitously from 167 to 65. So this really is the end of the effort. Uh, if we wanted to, we could highlight it all green just to make it easy to see. Um, but the computer is going to, or the spreadsheet's going to fill in five seconds in torque, same as last time, with a lower Newton meter average. So that's our second effort in the set. Very easy. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you is if we did this again, see I have a couple of these preset up so that you can do a whole effort very quickly and easily. Let's do one more as if um, with the least amount of editing, the least amount of effort. So let's go back to Golden Cheetah. Oops. Here we go. Let's go to Entire Activity, Mechanical, Full Activity. Cool. So we're going to take the third effort, which is third effort in this set is number five. So we'll click this. Look at all of this extra stuff that we really don't need to look at. We don't want this part right here, which is all nonsense. Um, we just want this effort right here, which is a very small section of this effort. So it would be annoying if we had to pick through manually this whole data set. However, number five, we go to edit. Uh, this is a good thing to point out. Sometimes in Golden Cheetah, when you switch to edit and you've highlighted the thing you want, it's not on the screen and you think, wow, it didn't work. Typically, you can see it right here at the bottom. It's just out of view. You just have to scroll up and bring it up. It will highlight the data of what you're looking for. So let's copy. Let's bring it over. Just a reminder, we did not edit out all of these zeros and all of the stuff we don't want. So let's go to Excel. Paste it in starting on the same line. Paste. Beautiful. Um, so we have all these zeros. None of that is what we want. Zero, 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 zero. So much zero. Wow. Incredible amount of zeros. All this other stuff we don't want. Hundreds. Here we go. This is where we start to get any effort, right? Because we're in the 400, 600, 700, 600. 
Um, so this is the effort all the way down here. Luckily for us, the computer or the spreadsheet just populates what it needs. It'll look for the peak, which is somewhere way down here, 187. Let's just find it. Now that I'm looking for it, I want to find it, 187. Cool, that's our peak. And data is not always super clean, so a lot of times when we're sampling, especially at lower RPMs, um, you're, you know, the the head unit sampling every half second, but if you get the exact same force number or power number three times in a row, um, that's a sign of inaccuracy, right? So there are little fluctuations in here that we're not going to get, but you know, all things considered, power meters have come a long way. Um, so that's our peak all the way down there. We're looking at a cutoff of 149.7, and you might be tricked into thinking, wow, it always gives you the same cutoff. No, it's just that the peaks have been very similar. So peak of 187, 185, 186, 20% below each of those is 149, 148, 149.7. Um, so there are slight fluctuations, so it does work. Seconds in torque are going to be four and a half seconds, so it's uh, shorter by one data point or half a second than the other ones, and the average effect of torque is 172. So what we see is that this athlete is um, losing his effective torque range average, or the average in effective torque range is going down each time. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. This has been Coach BJ on torque analysis using an Excel spreadsheet and Golden Cheetah. If you have any questions, pop it in the comments below. I'll get back to it, hopefully. Um, and hit like and subscribe because we have some new content coming out. I'm going to revamp the channel to really have a lot of aerodynamic content. We're going to be doing some testing on the bike with equipment that is relatable. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, get smart, be strong. Go fast.